Gal picks up Ace King offsuit, playing off a uh, 200,000. You can see Phil bought in for 290, I believe. He's got the Jack 10 suit. This is the question I had asked you. Are we going to see flats? Are we going to see three bets? Well, there's a flat, a flat from the high jack. Yeah, that's that's a raising hand right there. Could be. Oh, look at this. Yeah. It's going to bring in Dylan <laughs> on the button, that's right. which is why you're incentivized to three bet in the middle there. Mickey here with sixes, also going to make the call. 3400. Best thing about COVID. We're going to see this multi multi way here. But Lucky here has put in a small. Oh, I mean, 4x 3 bet after a few calls, I would say that that's small. He decides to 3 bet out of this third blind here. And I got to tell you, I mean, Gal might put the hammer down here with a bunch of people calling to his left. I mean, what a spot to 4 bet, right? Uh, it's almost uh, automatic. <laughs> Raise it up. Make it there, it is. there it is, and that's going to drive out. This is going to this is going to isolate this down to possibly heads up with the sixes, unless Lucky decides he wants to really put in the gamble. Well, how about Mickey making the call here? Yeah. And I said, yeah, going to isolate down. Oh, oh, Lucky says, I'm going to try to get Lucky. Oh. It's actually three and a half X yep. raise, and we're gonna see thirty-six K. Yeah, two calls here, so four bet pot multi-way. Oh, wow! And a set of sixes here for Mickey on a monotone wow. board. Gal's got Ace King with, with the Ace of Spades. Oh. Guys, put your seatbelts on, please. And Lucky's gonna lead with Air. Lucky's Four gonna get a rude awakening and have to just bail out of this hand very shortly. <laughs> <laughs> so 34 of hearts going to bet 14,000. What is Gal going to do here with Ace King with the King of Spades and Mickey here? I think Gal is going to raise this pot up. The top pot pair. Yeah, yeah. Top pair with a nut draw. Don't see how he doesn't raise this pot and protect his hand a little bit. Well, you don't want to lose weak races, though, right? I, mean, I might do a lot of calling here, but there's obviously several ways to play it. We'll see what he does. That is true. Raise it up. Make there it is. $36,000. You are right once again here, Nick. 36000 So 14 and a, a small raise here. And now over to Mickey. On this monotone board. I mean, obviously you have to be scared too of aces and queens, right? In a yeah, you do. Pot. Yeah, you do. I believe Mickey's going to flat here. Um, just from a lot of times, a few times I've seen him play, but I don't know. 10 seconds. We'll see. I mean, if he does flat, we're going to have a we're gonna put it in the time extension. We're going to have a huge pot. We're going to have like one pot size bet. Oh, yeah. If he does flat. Uh, there is the. You know how much you're playing? With uh, the five games. More. 70 behind, right? We lost lucky. Now, he said he has 70 more. We have it at 94. On the graphics, but yeah, I think, he, I think he didn't calculate that right because even looking at it, it looks like more than seven. Turn is a very, very big brick. I wonder if that'll be a factor in this hand that Gull is not getting the right count. Well, 74 as opposed to 94, it's not huge. Yeah, that's true. I think he's gonna shove. I really do. All in. Yep. There's the shove. All in. All in. All in. This is not a snap for Mickey. He's going to be in a lot of pain here. Spots for me. Yep. You cover me? Yeah. Yeah. What a tough spot. He's in the torture chamber right now. What do you think, Bart? He got a call, right? I think his, he got here this far. Yeah. And it's Mickey. He's just going to be in pain, and he's going to put it in, and he's going to wind his way either to a big pot or not. I call. There it There's is. There's a call. Right, Two calls. times. You have flush. Two times. Once or twice. Whatever you want. Two times. All right, Do they're going to run it twice here for three hundred. I want to say before. Right. Right. Ten thousand here, Nick. Paul doesn't want to say his hand. Paul right, needs to catch a speed that is not a deuce. That's right. Blank. Yeah, oh my that gosh. Does not do that it oh my gosh, a three hundred and ten thousand dollar pot that's going to go to Here Mickey. Go, and another blank and wow. Mickey's gonna scoop three hundred and ten thousand if 
the graphics are correct. He se seems to think that he has a little bit less, but we'll see here in a second. It's, uh, it's going to be right it's around 300,000. Yeah. I think he said something like that. Yeah. I don't think 20. I think Gall's not going to be thrilled that it's not 70, but it wasn't going to change anything. 60. Yep. Uh oh. Let's see what Gall has to say. Is this 90,000? Yep. Yeah. Although Gall should ask for an exact count if he really wanted it. It's not Mickey's obligation to give the exact count. 93.8. Oh, I thought he had 70. Yeah. I just uh, like quick looked and told you. Sorry. It's okay. Yeah, I do not believe Mickey's hitting the heights of 510. I don't think so, but I don't know. You're 4'11"? I always see him sit. <laughs> Garrett under the gun with a big duke, raised a 1200. I think he's going to get involved. 4, and he three bets the 4 5 <laughs> offsuit. So Garrett opens ace king off, and Mickey from out of position goes to 4,000. So about 3.5x here. What do you think the eighth wonder is going to do? Looks like he's going to call, yeah. and they're deep. We usually don't see Mickey. I mean, Mickey's been on just a tear. Actually, it's a four bet. Excuse me. He four bets yeah, to 15,000, <coughs> and he snapped. Beat him in the pot. So, so four bet pot. Kids, I respect that. Man. He don't. Wow. Well, like Mickey's that. just That's totally whiffed here. Go yeah. 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 He 10, nine all hearts. Whiffsville. Whoa, oh. look at this. We've seen I mean, this I love Mickey, but on a four bet pot hey, against an aggressive player, this is this is a suicide mission. He just is flopping. Absolutely. Yeah, he's, he's, lighting, he's lighting some of these chips on fire. So a lead here. Do we have a clock in here? What time? Yeah. What time is it? Definitely not something that Garrett is usually accustomed to seeing. He just calls. Nope, he's not used to being in this position. The only thing I'll say, Nick, is that is there ever a chance that if a heart were to come off and Mickey's continued to bet that Garrett might fall right here? Mickey's going to continue to Yeah, bet well, this isn't the greatest turn either for Garrett. His hand is getting tougher and tougher to play for him. And yes, if a heart comes, he could get off his hand. Yeah, one liner out here to it's a not, jack. It's not shaping up right. Yeah, look at this turn card. One liner to a jack here. King 10, 9, all hearts turns a queen. Garrett is good enough to sniff this out and to put the money in. He's going to call and we are at 101,000 here. Wow. River it's a blank. Six. So Mickey has absolutely nothing here. Yeah. Mickey's feet bombs here. Yeah. Fuck, I should have bet. No, I have to play high. God damn it, goal. What did you have when I blew the queen 10? What did you have? A small pocket. Huh? small pocket. Okay. I can't call. The whole board beat. Wow. He's going to bomb it. Besides, quick queen 10. Yeah, yeah, of course. I think he might have announced 60. Let's see. see. Yeah. 65,000? Yep. 65,000. Wow. Okay. <laughs> uh, I, I meant... Okay, 60,000. I don't... You know, What's the bet? 60,000. Whatever he wants. Is it 60? I meant, I meant 60. I don't want to, like... You're fine. You know, Just whatever you want the bet to be. Fine. Yeah. I don't want to, like, poor etiquette. Is. You're good, dude. You're good. Fuck. Oh, so many tough decisions against you've been wrong every time. Folded a bunch. <coughs> Called and was wrong. Like Fucking such brutal. Yeah. Let it out, Garrett. Why do I think he's going to call, Bart? Mm. Could be a live read here. Yeah. Mickey seemed a little nervous now. What the fuck does this hand mean? I don't know. Now, he, now he's Where's, trying to look calm. Yeah, a lot of time chips might be going in here. This is a really thin line here. <coughs> it's like, would Mickey ever play a flop flush like this? Would he ever play just a jack like this? Remember, it's a four bet pot. He three bet out of the small blind and Garrett four bet and he snap called. Oh, he's going to try to vape his way to a fold. You got it again, huh? <laughs> Fuck, dude. Every time you've had it against me. 
Me too. Really I feel like you got it again. Yes, everybody. That doesn't mean he's folding. Sometimes he switches gears right in the middle of the game. Man, he might be leaning that way, though. He doesn't look happy about this. This is, a, this is putting him in a tough spot, man. Tough damn spot. Adding one minute. Can't win this hand, I don't think, either. Oh. Just gotta hope you have something like that. Well, I mean, normally you wouldn't think that someone would have, like, E7 off with the Ace of Hearts. Not sure what to do. Which is, like, the nut draw like unpaired. That, but... but we know that Mickey might even have that. Because he's, he's got a black 5-4, so... Yeah. Trying to get a hand read here is, is really hard. Well, Garrett is the master of making the right decision. And 60,000 isn't going to change his life. He's just trying to make the best decision as a competitor. Ten seconds. What a great split screen here. Yeah. Guess I'll fold. Oh, 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 and he makes the fold. Wow, Mickey, show oh, it, that. baby. My man. Oh, my dude. and he shows wow. him. That is that king. Woo. Okay. That's going to leave a mark. Base two or one. Nice hand, man. Wow, Mickey Tricky. This guy's stepping all over the man's cave. Garrett is very disappointed in the fact he made the wrong decision. I know him well. You want me to show? You could. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Thank you. Wow, Mickey. If you do or you don't, like, just, you know, I never mean to be no, rude. No, you can always show. It's all good, yeah. All right. He will take the information even though it's stinging. Why, could you beat five high? Played uh, that four or five when I bluffed it off to Garrett. That hit was a lot of fun for me. Um, not only do I like four or five, like for me that's that's my range. But when the what I did was I uh, I raised pre flop, so I could easily be representing like really big strong cards. And so if the big strong cards come, like I still have a lot of motion for the rest of the the rest of the uh, hand. But if they come small, I can hit my straights. I can hit you know two pair uh, draw stuff like that. So I'm really in good position with like small connectors like that when I'm when I'm opening like pretty big pre flop. The flop comes and it wasn't really my favorite. It wasn't small cards. It was actually like king queen jack uh, hearts. Uh, so now I'm in what my represented range is, which could have been big hearts, it could have been uh, two pair, could have been a big pocket pair, could have been uh, straight. So I have all of these things to represent. And as I bet bet initially and opened after the, after the flop, I really got to like feel the range that Garrett might have been playing at. Um, and it didn't seem like overly aggressive, it didn't seem like super confident, so I felt that I had a lot of wiggle room. And once I committed to that, assuming that I did have one of those big made hands, there was no way to improve on it, which means my betting couldn't change. I had to keep barreling. I had to continue representing the story that I was playing. So no matter what the turn was, no matter what the river was, there was nothing that was going to change about my betting patterns. There was like no, you know, change. There's just no changing it. So I just kept up with it. He kept holding on for dear life. Um, and ultimately, I still didn't feel strong about him. I was just trying to gauge his weakness, and I had a four or five offsuit, didn't touch a single thing. I had five high, ultimately, uh, playing the board. And on the river, I have no choice but to bet big. I don't want to over bet because I think Garrett's the type of player that really wants to cling on to that. I think he's looking at the prize. Um, so I like, I don't want to over entice him to make a super donkey loose call. I want to bet just enough that he really has to consider it uh, based on his chip count, but not too much that it's like, it's worth a gamble because look how much I'll get paid off. So I bluffed him the four or five. I bet uh, my last bet on the river was 60,000 and he folded.